They're chasing me. They're everywhere. The skyboards. The skyboards are coming. Coming for us. Run while you can. Run! Welcome to Millennium 7 Star, the channel that helps you make sense of military history and military technology. Please stay with me till the end, because the stuff that we cover here are not easily found anywhere else on YouTube. Whoever has any doubt that drones are going to play a big role in the future military forces, please raise your hand. As I suspected, nobody has doubts. Drones today are basically remotely piloted vehicles with some basic level of autonomous decision. For example, they can come home automatically if they lose contact with the pilot, but they can't fire or commit suicide without a human in the loop. Whoever has any doubt that artificial intelligence is going to play a fundamental role in drone control in the future, please raise your hand. Okay, I see nobody has doubts in this case too. Among the various drones, prototypes and concepts that populate this area, I find particularly interesting the American concept Skyborg. Behind a seriously cool name, there is the idea of using a form of artificial intelligence to provide a pilot with a wingman that requires the same level of control and interaction as a human wingman. Will Roper, the Air Force's Assistant Secretary for Acquisition, Technology and Logistics, compare the Skyborg to R2-D2, the droid in Star Wars who serves as an assistant to Luke Skywalker when he pilots an X-Wing? Skyborg will train with the pilot to become more and more connected and responsive to the human partner needs. But you know that I don't mean what you are thinking. It is an interesting concept that prompted me and others to make some considerations. Artificial intelligence is based on training. An artificial intelligence based drone can do the right move because it has been trained on how to react to a specific situation. It won't be necessary to train any single drone, obviously, the training can be copied in different drones, but here we have one element that might reduce the effectiveness of the concept. Artificial intelligence can't improvise like a human pilot, worst, every drone will try to do the same things, and if the enemy finds a countermeasure, it will be effective against all the drones. In a fight among human-led machines, the humans can quickly adapt I doubt drones could without some sort of reprogramming. In this respect, they seem no better than current weapons that use procedural software to operate. Uh, they will only be capable of handling more complex situations. According to the information release, the Skyboard drones will have the capability of learning the preferences and the expressions of a specific pilot to react to the pilot's command always in the correct way. This is an interesting development, not dissimilar to the current training to reach a unit cohesion. However, this training might negate some of the advantages of the concept, like the number of training flight hours that the drones need to fly to really gel with the pilots. Another element connected to the human factor is the ability of the pilot to coordinate a formation of skyborgs. Today the commander of the battle is uh, on an OX plane or on the ground because from there there is a clear vision of what is happening. An experienced tactician without the necessity of flying a plane while taking the decision can actually coordinate a large battle. The pilot in the plane will have to take care of a small team of wingmen who could hardly be as smart as real humans. Um, the doubt remains if this would be feasible at all. Different would be if the direction was to associate manned aircraft with remotely piloted drones, with basically the same performance of the piloted aircraft. I personally believe this would be a very effective approach, but it has the inconvenience of elevating a group of operators to nearly the same importance of actual pilots, 
would train hard and have their own ethos that basically dominates the air forces all around the world. It is well known how the current drone pilots have been belittled for years in their respective organizations with reduced career and promotion opportunities and the refusal to create unit traditions. On a technical perspective, however, the concept is really shining. Drones can be cheaper than piloted aircraft. They do need the pilot-related equipment and software, and this is an important saving in money and weight. They can be smaller, albeit not much smaller than a piloted plane, because to have the same performances in terms of speed, range, sensors, and payload, uh, while well, the same engine, fuel capacity, sensors, and weapons base are required. The Skyborg concept envisions a treatable drones, that is, cheap units that can be sacrificed if necessary. But in this case, I suspect that the performances won't be the same as the modern piloted vehicles. If the drones won't be much cheaper to build, they might be dramatically cheaper to fly. A manned aircraft today is designed for at least 6,000 hours of flight, often much more, because the need of training uh, the pilots adds hundreds of hours every year to the aircraft structure. Artificial intelligent drones do not need to train like pilots, and remotely piloted drones operators can be trained almost as effectively on a simulator. Even the wingman doesn't need to fly every time with the pilot because its behavior can be exactly simulated by a computer. A drone can age four or five times slower than a manned aircraft, either lasting for a longer time or being built to less stringent standards. So I hope I've given you an idea. If you like this video, I'm sure you will like the videos that are going to appear beside me. In the meanwhile, please like, dislike, subscribe and hit the bell so you won't miss anything. And if you could consider supporting the channel on Patreon or Subscribestar, that would be amazing. In the meanwhile, thank you very, very much for watching and see you in the next video.